Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tips and Tools for Recovery That Works. In our last episode, we discussed urges for what they are and what they aren't, and reminded you of the great smart recovery tools that you can use to fight them. In this episode, we wanted to tell you about another great tool called the DISARM method, or the Destructive Image and Self-Talk Awareness and Refusal Method. The idea here is that sometimes when you have an urge, it's helpful to objectify that urge by giving it a name and independent existence outside of your own mind. Think of it as your urge avatar, that annoying character that tries to get you to do things that you feel you shouldn't do and that could produce bad results or extremely bad results. Instead of struggling to ignore this character, just become aware of it. And to help you do this, assign him or her a character, like the brat, the clown, the lobbyist, the whining baby, the terrorist, or sleazy salesman. Whatever character you create, it's ultimately a reflection of your own ego. The idea of giving your ego an objective existence or agency outside your mind is not a new concept. It's been part of many spiritual and philosophical practices for centuries. For instance, in Buddhism, that external agent took the form of Mara, a demon god who visited Buddha to tempt him on the night before he achieved enlightenment. The Buddha didn't ignore Mara. He became aware of his existence. And instead of fighting Mara, he invited him inside his house to have tea and talk it out. In Christianity, a popular external urge avatar is the devil, a force who continually tempts humans to give in to their baser desires, commit sin, and fall from grace. Probably where we get the phrase, the devil made me do it. This same concept appears in Islam, 18 centuries later, in the poetry of the 13th century Persian poet, Islamic scholar, theologian, and Sufi mystic Rumi, who also spoke of awareness of urges and the idea of welcoming them in to have a conversation with you. In all these cases, the basic idea is to become aware of the destructive image or urge avatars in your mind, and instead of ignoring them or fighting them, simply exercise your right to refuse them. And the more you refuse them, the weaker they get, and the stronger your recovery becomes. Even after a lot of practice refusing them, we all know that these voices won't ever go away. They're bound to pop up like some uninvited guests from time to time. And when they do, just acknowledge them and say, hey, haven't seen you for a while, thanks for popping in, but I'm too busy living my life now. Time for you to leave and don't let the door hit you on the way out. Hey, I hope these smart recovery exercises really help. If you've used them, we'd love to hear from you. Drop us a line at tipsandtools at smartrecovery.org. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for our next episode of Smart Recovery's Tips and Tools for Recovery That Works.